Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie or Shisha at Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the new Hey Handsome collection from Close to My Heart. I am absolutely loving this collection for all of my boys layouts. I think it's an amazing color scheme and I love all the sentiments in it. Um, so I'm going to be using this paprika for my border and then I am just using the White Daisy um, kind of just as a base. I'm going to be using a lot of uh, pattern paper. I'm looking at the layout now and I see at least four patterns and then maybe some additional ones using the Picture My Life card. So I'm using these two photos of um, my husband and my boys. So whenever I go out of town... Um, for like a scrapbooking retreat or whatnot, he always tries to kind of go on adventures, take them different places. Um, so this time was the tennis courts. Just something fun for them to do, get outside and enjoy. So that's what I'm going to be scrapbooking today. I am just going to kind of um, place the photos side by side. You can see that I did trim down the uh, photo of just the boys uh, so that they will kind of fit together, I guess. Um, and then I'm backing it in white. And then because I gutted the paprika paper, I am able to now use that to back my photos here. So just kind of why I do it is just to get more use out of my paper. Um, if it's a paper that I know that I'm not going to be using again, um, then I won't do it, but I know that all of this cardstock I will definitely use again. So here is the first pattern paper I'm going to be using, and I am going to be using ripped paper. Um, so this one here is going to kind of sit at the top. I do have to trim it down because I did um, cut down my white daisy. Normally, I would try to get away with kind of not even using the white daisy, but I have done that in the past. And one, the layout's flimsy, and two, it's just hard to get them to kind of stay together, the papers, I guess. So uh, that is why I did use the cardstock as my base. So I do have that green paper there um, that I tucked in. That is actually left over from the scrapbooking workshop. I have completed all those layouts, but I'm spacing them out for you guys so you don't get bombarded um, with those. And so that is actually an exclusive paper to the scrapbooking workshop. So I am just going to now commit to... Um, placing, I guess, what I have ripped so far. Uh, and the reason I have not glue taped down that white daisy is so that if I had any, um, if I didn't cut it down correctly, I could, you know, cut it off real quick without, I don't know, it would be a clean cut, I guess. Um, so now I'm kind of trying to decide what else, um, I am going to add that paprika paper down there. That is the back side of that top white paper. Um, and then I had a little bit of that green left over, so I'm gonna sneak that over on the edge there. And I just really liked the layered, um, kind of messy ripped look. Uh, I just, I thought this was such a fun layout and it kind of showcased almost all of the pattern papers. So now that I got that done, it's kind of time to decide how to embellish. I decided to use some of my Picture My Life cards, and they are great. There are um, title ones, there's journaling, there's different pattern papers. Um, so there are so many options with these Picture My Life cards. So I'm actually using two uh, of them to layer behind my photo. It just brings down maybe that pattern paper with all the words on it a little bit. I know I added two patterns, but it kind of takes away from maybe the icons, I guess, of that paper. So here's the sticker sheet. Like I said, it is an amazing sticker sheet and I am loving it. I'm going to have to probably order another one before it <laughs> sells out um, because I will get my use out of this for sure. I, and I love too that... 
I feel like it, you could use it for little kids, but then you could just kind of transition into adults as well. Um, so I definitely probably will get some more of this. I decided to make my title just remarkable and have that kind of overlap the bottom of that photo. I am going to pop up that remarkable up on some foam tape and I don't know, I really like how that looks kind of in the middle there. I didn't want to over embellish. Uh, the layout is already so busy because of all of the pattern papers and so I just kind of wanted to keep that title simple and then that top left cluster is going to have that camera and that flag. Um, and then I bought the acrylic pieces. This is like the embellishment for the kit, those acrylic pieces on the right hand side and I think they are just so cute. Um, so I am going to include some of those. Um, I did, there's like these almost look like washi tape stickers on the sticker sheet. So I did add one to the top to be a base for a cluster. Um, decided to add the tag up there as well. Um, and just kind of use that uh, as my base to add just little embellishments I guess up there. Um, so the one little sticker I added says my hero and then I'm going to kind of just place some of the acrylic pieces around um, at the top. I did add those glasses to the title um, with the acrylic pieces. If they're large enough I will use my ATG tape. If not then I use my tacky glue. Um, so I might have actually used my tape for the glasses because I had enough space to kind of, you know, run my tape runner over that. Um, I had, I don't know if I had part of that flag, that green one I tucked into the top there, um, or if that was left over from a different layout. Uh, I, one of the workshops kind of had it hidden like that, and I thought that was kind of a cute idea, and it just brought some more green kind of to, um, even out the colors, I guess, uh, of the embellishment clusters there. So now the clusters are pre pretty much done. I'm just going to be adding the star stickers from the sticker sheet. And I think I used all of the uh, acrylic pieces I'm going to. Uh, but then I kind of decided I needed something more for the title. And on the workshop, um, one of the layouts, they actually took those like washi tape stickers um, and made them into like tags in their different shapes. So this one is like the normal flag, I guess, that I would use. Um, the black is kind of like a almost like a ripped look. And then I'm going to add in a paprika one, which is um, just cut at a diagonal and add those under the title just to kind of bring more of the busyness down, if that makes sense. And then I add just a sticker of four asterisks um, to the top of those flags. And I think that just finished it off just perfect. I will link the collection down below if you are interested. I would love your support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.